It's LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Mr. Micro Mike and today we're going to talk about the preseason being shortened and how it affects our Detroit Lions negatively. Before I get into the video, if you are not a subscriber and 45% of you are not, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for all of my notifications and leave me a comment and tell me what you think about the preseason potentially being shorted due to COVID. Let's talk about initially when it comes to the Legacy Media, Sports Center, ESPN, NFL Network, why they always talk about how the preseason needs to be shortened and it is a bore compared to the regular season and why to me that's a negative commentation when it comes to the preseason and why it is important. First, yes, it is definitely boring. We do want to see regular season games. Seeing starters is not as fun, or seeing non-starters is not as fun as seeing starters on the field. I totally get it, understood. However, if you're a Detroit Lions fan, you completely understand the idea of individuals on the team that gets injured and how it impacts your season. We had 21 people on IR and we needed bodies quickly for our team. It affected our season. Ultimately, 3-12-1 had a lot to do with injuries. And having bodies on there, giving the team help is very, very vital towards our season. If we do not have four preseason games and because of lack of preseason games the evaluation of talent will be that much less we already lost mini camps we're straight going to training camp and without two preseason games the coaches the general manager have less time to evaluate young talent for this team it is important to evaluate young talent we have talent on this team that we probably would not have had if we didn't have time to evaluate those players. Look at Bo Scarborough for a chance. That guy came out of nowhere and was a big piece of our run game last year. And him having time at other teams' training camps and Bob Quinn evaluating other teams' players to potentially jump on our team was huge. It is not just our players that we're paying attention to. It is 31 other franchises. Bob Quinn's job is to evaluate talent throughout the whole NFL and if a player gets released or is signed to a practice squad, we can snatch them up to be part of our team. It's extremely, extremely important. One player can change a whole way our team potentially can go. The NFL is a game of inches and if we start losing those inches, we are going to lose those games and that's why we need to have the most evaluation of talent possible for our coaches and general manager to evaluate players and put them in on the team for us to go forward. Since you have less, pre less preseason games, it gets that much harder. I understand the situation when it comes to the NFL. They were put in a very bad situation between a rock and a hard place. And I get it. I am not angry at them at all. It is just, it is a bad situation all around. But yes, to me, it is going to affect the team. And I understand the idea of wanting to see quality games. However, to me, I think evaluating talent is, is more important for a team's regular season than it is simply to jump into it. I would rather have two of those preseasons get in there and we have two players that ultimately may not be on our team on our team to help us out if need be throughout the regular season injuries occur injuries occur 
and we need to have bodies to help alleviate the pain for our team going forward specifically 2020 because we've seen what happened in 2019 so tell me what you think about this situation leave me a comment and we will have fun adios